Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance, and this is an Object 261, the Tier 10 Soviet SPG, and we're on the defending spawn, or is it defending? No, it's a standard battle. Um, this is Karelia, and we're on the south spawn of Karelia, and this particular um, Object 261 is being driven by Tulis, and the battle has commenced. And we don't seem to be getting much movement from Tulis. It is just a standard battle. So 15 minutes, not the uh, 10 of uh, an assault. Ah, he's moving now. Now, the uh, Object 261 has got an 18 centimeter howitzer. It's a pretty powerful gun, but it's a departure for the uh, Soviets because they normally either armed their arties with the 152 millimeter B2 howitzer or B2, B2 cannon, or the B4 203mm howitzer. And it looks to me like Tudis is going to be setting up at this spot, which is near the cap, but so we can aim at the uh, targets that are in the uh, south passage. And yep, he's looking for his first target. And there's an Object 430, a T-54E1. Oh, he fired around to where he thought that the one was going to be, but he stunned him. Now, this is a tier 10 battle, but there are tier 9 tanks in it. Right, almost ready to shoot again. Rounds up. We got a piece of the Object 430 and the T-54 there. Looks like a large number of the enemy tanks have actually headed north. Or rather headed west along the north route. And they're fighting it out over this pass, which is rather unusual. Now, the 18cm howitzer does reload fairly quickly. And that rounds out on the Panzer 7. And he gets a chunk there for 275 hit points. That main group seems to be hanging back. It's only the Skoda and the Object 430 who push forward. But they paid for it, obviously, by uh, losing hit points. I think the others are now emboldened to move forward because they can see that uh, that Tudis' side are backing off. And that round goes in and stuns a lot of them. That was a very useful shot there because that will help his t team to overcome those uh, tanks because they're all going to be firing much slower, aiming slower, aiming with more errors. And Tudis is about ready to go again. He's lining himself up on the E100. E100 is normally fire HE. And, ooh, and another good hit stuns them all. But unfortunately, they've lost the Object 140. And the enemy is pushing ahead now. That Object 430 needs to get away. He's backing away, but no, it's not fast enough. And he's been taken out. Now, Tudis' team are three tanks ahead at the moment, even though the enemy just got one. Uh, but mostly because all the enemy tanks in the south have been wiped out. Um... And they now have control of the horseshoe, and the rest of the team are streaming ahead towards the enemy cap. Now, Tudis is taking this opportunity to relocate as far to the east as he can, so that he can continue to fire on the enemy tanks up to the north. And that's just a little too late for him to dial in on, but he can probably get a shot at that E50 if he comes out from behind that rock. Nope, too late. So he can't. So he's now going to have to. Oh, he's now going to look at this uh, Waffenträger. Auf Panzer 4. Indicating where he thinks it is. And his team will be looking for it. As soon as it's spotted, he'll fire around into it. It must have backed away. There's the T-10. Okay, round out. And he gets a hit. 129 hit points, 3 critical hits. But that could be important. If he stunned it then it's going to be, have difficulty trying to stop three tanks from overcoming him. 
and he's gone down. The IS-7 got him. In the meantime, Tudis is taking the opportunity again to move even further east. And this is a good move. It's safe. It also means that the enemy RT is not going to be able to look for him. In fact, he's going to go up onto the horseshoe. This will give him opportunities to fire on the cap as well as on the enemy tanks to the uh, northeast. Northwest, I should say, rather. Now, there's a load of tanks near the enemy cap. It's quite surprising, really. He's going to go for the E-50. He must have returned to the cap, realising that they're in grave danger in the south. Lined up the shot there. Well, it splashed the E-50. I think it was just a little further more than the... Uh, he thought the E-50 would move. Uh, it didn't move as far. And so he just splashed it. But he has picked up some stun assist. Meanwhile, the rest of the tanks in the northwest corner have been bottled in. Are they returning to the enemy cap? I think they might be. Yes, they are. There they are. They are actually trying to get back to their own cap because they realise that they're about to be capped out. There is one camp tank in the cap. It's an IS-7. But he's left the cap and that round goes straight into the Panzer 7. That's 340 hit points and the E100 is desperately trying to get around that corner to uh, take on the tanks near the cap. Of course he doesn't need to now really because nobody's capping. But the E100 takes out the IS-7 and Tudis is about to put a round into that E100. Or is he going to fire? We've lost sight of him. I would have fired actually because I suspect that that uh, E100 was turning around on the spot. But there's the 7 lining up a shot and he moved forward round out and that's a kill shot. 89 hit points he only needed that. He overwhelmed it with an 18, 18, <laughs> 18 centimeter howitzer shell. Now there's only two tanks left on the enemy team, a GW E100 and the E100, and the GW has been found, and the T10s are about to take him out. Meanwhile, Tudis is going after the E100, and that's a lovely big hit there, 387, the GW E100 is gone, so it's just this E100 left, and I think Tudis is going to put another round into him as soon as he's loaded. He's marking his target with his T key, telling everyone I'm attacking that target. Let's hope they don't ram him. Okay, line him up, round out. Oh, it hit the wreck, but it stunned the E100. And the E100 has been hit, so two of this is picking up stun assist. And that Type 4 Heavy is going to go to town on that E100 now by hitting him in the rear with masses of HE. Or in fact, actually, he rammed him. Oh, Tillis fired the round in, but he didn't need to fire. The E100 had been wiped out by the uh, T30. So, let's have a look at the end of battle stats for that one. Well, it's his first mark of excellence. So well done, Tulis. Object 261, first mark of excellence. He also picked up his second class tanker and he got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 12 in that one. And we can see the targets he hit here. Now, when it came to team score, he was fourth on damage, 2,456 hit points. Um, he came... Uh, joint third with uh, one kill on uh, the number of kills and when it came to base XP well he was well down the table I'm afraid with only 820 uh, but that's still pretty good um, after all he did get his first mark of excellence he fired 13 rounds got five direct hits five penetration and 15 splash now he got more splashes than he actually fired simply because when he was firing those rounds into the northeast corner he was hitting at least five tanks with every shot so he was really multiplying the number of splashes he was doing 
Um, he did damage of 2,456 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He hit six of the enemy, that's more than two thirds of the enemy. Um, in fact, it's uh, two fifths of the enemy. Um, and he managed to kill at least one tank. He did damage assistance of 52 hit points and stun assistance of 2,223 hit points off 19 stuns. On a premium account, he earned 53,841 credits and after ammunition resupply, and of course it is fairly cheap, the 18 centimeter shells, he was actually ending up with 28,101 credits and he received 1,230 XP. And there was no multiplier, so that's all he took away. But he got his first mark of excellence and I'm sure he is very pleased about that because now he's on the long road to get his second mark at 85% and then of course his third mark at 95. Now, there's only one person I know who actually has regularly uh, three marked arties and that gentleman is a unicum uh, who's uh, managed to do it and do it on um, uh, as well on the live stream uh, on Twitch. So if you ever want to catch his uh, streams to see how he handles the Marty, watch Frenzier on uh, Twitch TV. So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in our next video.